speed ball cutter and behind it are the gouges, V and U gouge tips that you can use to explore a variety of mine widths. So what you'll be doing is unscrewing the top portion, top collar of the speed ball linoleum cutter and you'll find within it a ball joint, at least that's what I call it. So it's got a little ball head and it's got a fixed collar to the to the stock and then you've also got a floating collar. So the floating collar has a beveled end, you can feel the bevel on it, it has an angle and then it has a straight end. So those pieces are the pieces that end up holding the flange, which is this rounded portion of your gouge tip. So you can see that it's got a rounded edge, it's got a rounded curve. That's what's going to fit between the ball joint and the floating collar. So I'm going to set this here. I'm going to grab the handle and this stock on the handle has a cup and it is within that cup that you are going to place the collar and the ball joint. So you're going to fit those two together. You're going to stick the end that has the straight ended ends of the pieces into the cup so the ball joint with its beveled angled um, collar end, those are facing outward. I'm going to grab the collar which screws onto that head, that threaded head. So you can kind of see there's the ball joint staring at us. And let's see if I can pull back. And within that, there is the floating collar, which I'm now going to nestle the flange into that end. So here's the rounded end going to nestle it within so it's between that little floating collar and the ball joint and then it's going to fall out because that's how demonstrations go. Let's see. I'm going to loosen it again so it will fit. There we go. So I loosened it. I held it upright actually. And I loosened it. I loosened the head up so that the ball and the floating joint had a little space between them. Then I nestled that flanged end down between them, and now I'm tightening the outer collar. So it's just snug. You don't have to make it super tight. All right, so now you'll see that there's the ball joint that's basically nestled up against the lower part of that gouge. So give that a try and email me. If you have any questions or write them down and when we get back to class together again, we can talk. Thank you.